Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today I'm going to show you how you can DIY your own solar electric fence charger. And uh, so it's not going to be necessarily a, a DIY like build the, uh, the charger itself. It's how to put together the components that come in a prepackaged deal on your own. So uh, the reason we kind of do this uh, a long time ago, uh, we had one of those small solar chargers that had the battery built into it and it, you know, charge and, and uh, it, it, you know, it, it worked. It, it worked on a fence that might have been only this big by this big, you know, it, it, it did not have enough power for, um, to keep the pigs in or the sheep or goats or anything like that. It just, it just was not powerful enough. There are some large solar chargers, but they are uh, very expensive. And so what I decided, and uh, I wanted to make it kind of modular. And the reason I wanted to make it modular was because you could actually, if a component failed, you could just replace that component with an off-the-shelf component, not going to the directly to the manufacturer of a specific, uh, you know, charge controller or, or the uh, fence charger. Uh, you know, if, if the charge controller failed or the solar panel failed, you'd have to go either replace the whole unit or replace the individual uh, component from the manufacturer because it, it, it's proprietary to them. So uh, the reason uh, I wanted to show you guys this is because uh, I've kind of kind of narrowed it down to exactly what I like and uh, how I like for the system to work so uh, let me get you in here and i'm going to walk you through everything you can see the solar panel here to my left uh and um and the battery is right here in front of me so uh let me get you in here i'm going to walk you through everything and uh and we'll talk about this all right so what you see here is uh this solar charge controller and this can be purchased i'm going to put a lot of links uh down below so check the description out for all these uh, the links to these products so this is a charge controller and you can see I've got uh, the solar panel connected here so uh, we're gonna get to the solar panel in just a little bit but you see it has plus and minus and has battery plus and minus and it has this little light bulb right here and that's your load and in this case our load is not a light bulb it's a uh, 12 volt DC uh, 25 mile fence charger so this is a uh, this is the fence charger I like to use. These are these are pretty nice. Uh, so it takes 12 volts in, and I've got my uh, high voltage lead coming out. This is just a piece of number 12 copper wire, and this is I think some 18 or 16 gauge stranded um, that I'm using for the ground to go to the ground rod, which we'll talk about in just a second. So uh, I have this all mounted, and this is a. Uh, this is a 12 volt 35 amp hour battery sealed lead acid um, be sure you get a sealed lead acid if you do this because the uh, batteries that vent like a car battery uh, they they would uh, while they're charging discharge hydrogen gas which if there was a spark inside of here it could explode um, yeah so uh, I have drilled holes in the bottom of this battery box and that's to let any water out because it's not sealed, bugs can get in anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just you don't want water collecting in this box. So uh, there's there's how all that's wired up, and this is just screws, set screws here, or, or terminal block inside of this, and it just mounts inside of there. So this, uh, this indicates that the solar panel is present, and it is charging, it's actually uh, topped off right now. See, if it's not flashing, it's solid. That means the, the battery is topped off, and the solar panel is active, but not actually charging. It's dumping its extra power into this uh, resistor that's inside of here just to dump off any extra power. So that's how, how all that is wired up. And uh, so that's that's really kind of simple, straightforward, and uh, how that how that goes. So you can see, I'll, I'll just put the cover back on here. Let me get you over here to where this high voltage lead goes. Oh, before I close this up, what I'll do is I'll show you... Um, how to turn it back on so if your battery has enough power you just push this little light bulb button right here and you see how this uh, light bulb lights up and what that means is the output this output is activated with a relay inside of here and that means the charge controller is actually um, sending out power to the fence charger so that's that's running now 
So let's put this top on like that. And uh, let me get you in here and I'll show you the uh, ground rod. So there's the blue wire leaving the battery box going over here to this ground rod. And you can see I've got this acorn clamp attached to the ground rod and then the ground rod dri driven into the ground and uh, so i suggest highly suggest using these ground clamps these at least these acorn clamps right here because they're stainless and brass and they uh bond really well to the to the rod so you just drive the rod in with a hammer and then you can wiggle and jiggle and pull and the rod will come right back out this is only a three foot rod so you can see how much is is in there i had a six foot copper rod that I cut in half and that's what made that. So here's the 100 watt solar panel and I found a 100 watt works really well at keeping the uh, battery charged up when the uh, it's cloudy out when the clouds are out and you're not getting an optimal uh, charge you can see it was sunshiny today a uh, little bit but it's a little cloudy now and you can see that battery is just still topped off so i'll show you the back side of this and show you the uh show you the oh well that label is gone but i'll put a link down below and so there's how i have it wired up and then i have these connectors and i'll put a link to these connectors and some of that two conductor wire uh, cable that's there and I'll, I'll show you how all that works here so um, we'll just lay that back down there. So I like to angle it a little bit so it gets a uh, maximum sun exposure. So uh, over here, I just have that number 12 wire coming out of the box. And then it just it just kind of loops around this post right here. And this post actually has uh, just a loop of this copper wire on it. And it, I kind of have it tangled up and wrapped around there because I might not need the post this close next time. I might need it longer. So I have it kind of modular. And then over here on the fence, I just have this this hook right here, and that hook is is attached to the fence with uh, it's just twisted around it. So there's Charlemagne. He says hi while we're working on the the video here. So to turn the fence on, you just uh, you just hook it hook it right onto there, and you can see it, it kind of sparks a little bit. But once it settles in, it's locked in. And then down here on the handle, if I can get you in focus that off of there again uh, down here on the handle you can see I've taken a carriage bolt wing nut and I made a, a type of clamp with this with this uh, this hook so uh, like I said I'll put some links down below you can check all this stuff out uh, super easy and I'll show you the spark you can see the I didn't be able to see the spark during the day here I could kind of see it there we go so anyways that's how that all that works pretty nice system uh it's again modular if something fails you just i keep a whole extra set of everything on hand for this and uh, that really makes it nice because you can just quickly plug and play and, and you don't have a fence down for any amount of time at all other than the time it takes to just fix it so there you go guys a super simple effective way to get your fence charger uh, set up and easy to fix in the future and uh, the parts are readily available these boxes I believe are available at your local uh, big box stores I've seen them there batteries at the local uh, battery place that I've seen in town uh, they have them smaller towns not necessarily but you can get them online and again links below um, yeah that's about it so thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you next time